show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an un- Alright, so this is probably one of the best kept secrets for solving the Rubik's Cube. I almost considered not sharing this with you guys because it kind of takes the fun out of it, but I figured, I don't know, maybe you could use it to like get a date or impress your friends or something. So anyways, uh, here goes. You can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position using just two moves, and you're just going to repeat these moves over and over again. You're going to turn the left side counterclockwise, and then you're going to turn the top clockwise. So it looks like this, and you're just going to keep on repeating this sequence over and over again and eventually the cube will start to sort of solve itself. You just keep going. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. Pretty simple. I have a life hack that's gonna blow your mind. Well, it blew my mind. My mom taught me this a couple days ago. Mom's not so I just bought all these tumbler cups and I was going to stick them in the dishwasher. But each one has like a tag for the barcode under it and they're actually pretty hard to get off. Or are they? Anything with like a sticker tag, stop peeling it off. Grab some tape, get a piece, uh, maybe this big. Take your piece and stick half of it on to the tag and rub it so it's really on there. Make sure to leave a little bit of a tail. Then you wax it off. Then you can peel it off and do it all over again. Brilliant. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. I was today years old when I found out. Tell me why I've been taking these little bad boys and just <coughs> popping them off with my mouth in excruciating pain when I could have just soaked them in a little bit of oil and water. Cheeky morning hack for de-icing the car. Just fill a bag with warm water and go around all the windows. Have fun sliding it about. Saves going backwards and forwards to the house with a jug of water. My husband was so sweet and he put the baby locks on all the cabinets. So now when the baby wants to open a cabinet, he still can. Hey Alexa, up, up, down, down, left, right, Left, right, B, A, start. Super Alexa mode activated. This one is for all my ladies who like to accessorize. Do not use your cheapest shit rings because they will break and it will hurt. <laughs> that was kind of sick. My favorite healthy alternatives to the naughty stuff. Instead of crisps, try paprika kale chips. Mm. Instead of high calorie hot chocolate, have low calorie hot chocolate. But only do half the measurement and the rest make up with protein powder. For example, I've got white chocolate hot chocolate with white chocolate and raspberry protein powder. Instead of high carb rice, we're going to make cauliflower rice. Paprika cauliflowered rice, which is so, so tasty and yummy. And this is it, cauliflower rice. Then you can also pair it with bacon and Brussels sprouts.
I'm going to show you how to crack a master combination lock. The first step is to press up on the shackle while turning clockwise, just enough to where it hitches on one number. Mine is 8. You will then add 5 to whichever number that you have. Mine's 13. This is the first number of the combination. From here you will apply more pressure to the shackle and then turn it until it does not turn anymore. You will then reduce the amount of pressure on the shackle and mimic the first step. And whichever one it hitches on will be your number. Mine's 23. This is your second number in the combination. Since you already have your first two numbers, you'll just have to put both of them in and then just press up on the shackle while turning the dial. Then until it clicks open. There you go. We use this wisely. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Confession time. I was yesterday years old when I figured out what this was for. I used to think that it was some kind of lid or something that didn't pertain to me and I would just pop it off and throw it away. I used to always get the syringe all dirty or I would try and pour the last little bit in the top to get the medicine in there. And yesterday I decided not to take it off and just push it in the bottle and see what would happen. Come to find out, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Now you have a nice neat little hole that you can get the medicine out without making a mess. Mind you, I've had kids for three years. Why did it take me this long to figure it out?